Okay, well, so you just left the shuttle. You're going to pick up some uniforms that Raph has left for you, hopefully. <coughs> uh, I take it you're all kind of going together as a group? Yep. 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 Okay, you reach the um, the drop-off point that uh, Raph mentioned. <coughs> it's basically in just an intersection of two corridors, not too far from the hangar bay where you met him. And there is, well, nothing there apart from some dumpsters. Let's go look in the dumpsters. dumpsters. Inside one of the dumpsters is a large uh, sort of package that looks suspiciously uniform-like. In uh, some kind of plastic wrapping. Probably a bomb. (laughs) Should we take these to the toilets? and, Or should we get them now or later? I would like to check to make sure there's no bugs or... I don't know. Um, There's... Basically, there's nothing on them. That they are just uniform. Nothing uncoordinated. You're so yeah. paranoid. <laughs> it's like we're on a payroll station or something. Jeez, it's, it's not like I'm like this is my job or anything. <laughs> yeah, like, the express reason you brought me along. No. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, I will ask perhaps the droid very nicely if you would help me get the uniforms out of the dumpster. I suppose. <laughs> The uniforms are to put on to kill people. <laughs> um, and then open up the wrap. <clears throat> Wait, no. Hmm? Not in the corridor. Take them to the bathrooms. Make sure the bathrooms are empty. <coughs> and then open the packaging. Okay. And possibly run over first with touch and with a hand sensor. Okay. Or ask someone else to go over it with a hand sensor. So you're generally Jesus. just checking. Checking. <laughs> Is anyone them. helping you with this? I have a hand scanner, so I can do that part. Okay. Um, I'm going to watch hands. a um, skullduggery roll, mm-hmm. I guess. <laughs> Is that really the most appropriate thing for it? Or perception? Investigation? Probably not. Is there an investigation? No. no. So we're stolen like Oh, there isn't an investigation, I'm sorry. No. I'm going to say you could either use perception or skullduggery. I'm going to go with perception then. Okay, so what's your roll? It is two yellow, one green. Two yellow and one green. And a, a boost because I've got this one helping me and maybe another one because we've got a hand scanner. Just going to give one boost. Okay. It's not that difficult as it is, so oh. I think you'll be fine. Basically, the bomb is, it's bomb is bigger than the clothes. So it's really <laughs> obvious. <laughs> the clothes are ticking quite audibly. <laughs> That's one's a throw alarm clock in here. That is... Good. One success. One success and one success. One advantage, which... Yeah, Yeah. nothing and success. Uh, Yeah, it's a bunch of um, cargo bay work clothes with a couple of droid idents with it. Yep. What What time is it? Like... Do you relative to it? Relative relative to... (laughs) The thing arriving tomorrow, which is what we presumably well, we waited six hours, so now there's going to be like twelve fifteen hours. Yeah, it's about twelve hours away. You think the scheduled arrival? Should we get some sleep? Yeah, we haven't. Uh, don't we want to go in and have a look around the bay first? Make sure, just scope out the place. If you want to, I, I maybe would like that. Few of the best people do that. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're one of the person maybe go do that. Yeah, right. Um, me and. No. <laughs> Would one of the droids like to come with me? How about you? Depends what you'll be doing. Uh, I will not be killing people. Oh. In that case, I'll uh, retire to the ship. But I may be threatening people. <laughs> do you think you I'm intrigued? Be... Uh, <laughs> sure, I'll come along if, uh, you, if you think my presence is necessary. Cool. Do you all think maybe Phylax K might be. This unit will be conspicuous. That unit will have a droid pass. Beep. <laughs> so yes or a no? Was that like a high pitched <laughs> profanity beep, or was that like a quiet beep of acceptance? Are you saying that like a high pitched beep is basically them going fuck? <laughs> yes. He's got after D two things to do. This unit is at the disposal of its magnanimous master <laughs> and owner. <laughs> right, me and the crazy one. Cool. I take offence. Why? I wasn't programmed with any sort of 
unbalanced. I, I, I was programmed to do a job and I do it quite admirably. I'll let you know. You were programmed to, in a balanced way, psychopathically murder people. I can see that. That's not point. an insult. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and intimidate some more dog workers, shall we? Let's. You say it like you've done it before. <laughs> we did. He attempted to. Yeah, he attempted. failed completely. Shh. <laughs> trying to help his self esteem here. <laughs> we'll go ahead. I'll put on one of the outfits. Okay. The you install, install the item in my uh, chip. Okay. You um, wander off. Are you going to the same docking bay you were going to before? The one with we're where Raph is working? One. How, do we know which bay the all are coming into? Yeah, I think Raph was. Yeah. Was all he was working. Did he? But didn't, I thought you guys found I'm out from the data stuff. What? Yeah, they found out from the data stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, was yeah. I thought you guys did because you told it's us fine. where to go. So are you going to go to the one where M M two two six two two six is be. actually going? Okay, yeah. Yep. Um, you head in. No one bats an eye at you as you uh, you walk past the security on the door. Um, the ident chip is is scanned and is found to be all right. There there isn't too much security at the door, but then. The convoy isn't here yet. Um, it's a very large docking bay, uh, and it's completely empty. Completely empty. Yeah, apart from some dock workers roaming around. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Um, can I scope out the place for any easy to find hiding areas? Uh, give me a. Hmm, would that be perception? Or perception? Is there a stealth? There, there is. I'm actually going to ask for cunning and stealth. Yeah. Cunning and stealth? Breaking the boundaries. Oh, cunning no. and stealth. Yes. That's good for you. Isn't so, okay. rather than agility and stealth, which is, which is normal. Oh, yeah. If you see what I mean. Yep. I'm doing a bit of. Crazy juggling about. Oh, I thought you got confused with World of Darkness for a moment. Such no. revolutionary. Like, no. uh, in that case, can I have. There three is no cunning in World of Darkness. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. mm. Can I have three greens, please? Three greens. I mm. meant with the rolling the skill and the attribute at oh, the same don't time. No, I don't. I thought I did. You're a stealthy person. Three greens. I'm more about lagging my way past people than sneaking. And you can yeah, poke around to your heart's part. desire, so I'll give you an advantage. Die. Let's keep that threat down. Five threat. Yeah, shut up. That is three successes and one threat which disappears. Cool, yeah, you found uh, quite a few little hidey holes. Cool. There's, um, for a start, there's, well, some dock worker toilets uh, on the side which have, you know, cubicles that could be hidden in quite easily. Um, there's some kind of big old empty boxes that seem to be partly broken so no one's using them kind of containers mm -hmm. uh, over to one side that you can lurk behind quite safely so yeah there's a, there's a couple of places you can hide out what's uh, what's the murder bot doing during all this I'll be uh, where are the eyeing all the dock workers see if I can find anybody who's it uh, somebody who looks a bit easily intimidated <laughs> <laughs> for I will no will value you just want to go and intimidate <laughs> someone <laughs> Uh, um, you, um, yeah, you, the, can the droid stare? Yes. <laughs> he doesn't blink, His so. eyes are always open anyway, isn't that just looking? Yeah, but it's the looking. It's I, I've enhanced the uh, LEDs in my eyes. <laughs> 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 right. Red, presumably. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you, uh, you managed to, um, well, let's make a roll for pointless reasons. Um, <laughs> is there an intimidation not? thing? Yeah. Uh, it's coercion. Yeah. Coercion. <laughs> Yes, so going delicately put. Mm -hmm. So, is that with appearance, I'm assuming? Uh, willpower. It's going to be with appearance in this case. No, it's no uh, appearance. Presence. Is that presence? presence. Uh, okay, so that's coercion one and will, uh, present one. So, that's just. One yellow? No. One yellow, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, two successes and two and a threat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you you do button. seem to alarm one of the dock workers who seems to kind of <laughs> be taken aback at your weird red piercing <laughs> eyes staring <laughs> at him Instead for no a reason. Murder bot. <laughs> and he, um, he he scurries off and uh, tells one of the door guards. 
<laughs> we'll uh, consider that a job well done. <laughs> <laughs> Side it over to the bottom. Now, uh, so, uh, how is our uh, school degree going over here? Have we found somewhere to <laughs> stay in? We've got a few, place, please, uh, a few places that look like we can uh, hide out. That's good. It's bit. essential we remain hidden at do all you, times. You, you there! <laughs> Uh, one oh. of the Imperial Guards from the door is, is kind of striding up to you. One of the guys with the big domey helmet things. You know the ones I mean. Mm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he uh, strides kind of up to the pair of you and says, Let me scan your eye then, Chip. Immediately. By all means. Is there a problem? I haven't seen this droid before. Maybe you just haven't been looking at it enough. <laughs> His SAS chip is on overdrive. I'm very sorry about that. We keep trying to get the engineers to look at it, but he, um, he keeps just swearing chip. at them. He scans your ident chip and he's, he seems to be moderately satisfied with, with the results on his on his scanner. And then turns and says, I don't like the, uh, the way he's talking, though. Are you sure you don't want me to uh, take him away, get his restraining bolts replaced? No, we've got one in the works. We've already ordered it. We just... It's a pain to try and get someone to actually put it in. We'll be fine. Can you make a co- is it coercion? Uh, deception, maybe? No. Deception? Deception. deception. Either coercion or deception. Can I have on. one green and two yellow? Green and two yellow. Wow. Are you doing anything to help this scenario or to hinder it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I will be keeping my uh, mechanical mouth shut for now. I I've got uh, LEDs at normal brightness now. <laughs> 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 just, just, just to uh, make levels. But like the only thing you physically turn it. <laughs> that is. Oh dear. <laughs> Why'd you do that? That is a failure. That's one failure, but. Um, Three. Several Three triumphs. No other call. Advantages? Advantages is the one. Advantages. I think that works out as one fail but one advantage. Yeah, one yeah, fail. Yeah, one, one advantage. fail and advantage. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, God. Oh, God. Got okay. Um, <laughs> <just> got <laughs> uh, well, he, he definitely doesn't seem convinced in any way. Uh, and he's, he's kind of shaking his head and kind of looking around you for your restraining bolt uh, when suddenly his, uh, his comms. Uh, his comlink uh, lets out a buzz. He kind of steps a couple of steps away and says, "Yes, what is it?" Uh, a voice on the other end says, "Oh, sorry, sorry to bother you, sir, but we've uh, we've just received a point that uh, somewhere in the station, someone's accessed some blueprints for Temple class freighters, sir. We uh, we just thought you should know. Uh, probably nothing, probably nothing, but uh, worth worth keeping an eye out for. I think uh, at least one of the uh, the convoy ships is a Temple class freighter, isn't that right?" He says, "Yes, yes. Mm. Well, we'll look. We'll look into that." He uh, he turns around and uh, says, "Well, have him have him taken taken in for a restraining bolt at some point soon." Will do. And strides off. That was your um, threat for rolling threat on getting the blueprints. By the way. Yeah, I thought it might be. Oh, that went quite well. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> could have gone worse. Given the circumstances. Yeah. Do you you don't have your um. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying not to say the word. No. You don't have it with you, do you? I'm afraid I'm restricted to my uh, own arms at the moment. Okay. Although they can also be utilised quite well. <laughs> <laughs> Given the uh, correct circumstances, of course. Um, in which case... When, is there any sort of preparation being done? You say there's a few dock workers. Are they... There doesn't what seem to be a massive amount of prep being done. No, they're just kind of shifting a few things around. Uh, a bit bored. Maintenance, yeah. Okay. That's about it. Sn- you know, some cats are sniffing people's <laughs> faces and glasses. <laughs> I should point out to anyone listening that that's not in Star Wars. That's a joke because that's what's happening in the room. <laughs> that that's what jokes are. Sometimes they also lies. <laughs> anyway, um, I think it's probably everything. Uh, I was going to say, I suggest I could uh, power down one of the cubicles over there, or the box, or I could arrive with the rest of the crew if needs be. 
Large I obviously don't want to erase too much of a uh, profile. Uh, too many of us, you've already been flagged down, so too many of us walking in at once could be a bit suspicious. Do you think you can hide yourself properly? I, uh, I'm fairly confident I can manage that, yes. Okay. Am I pretty sure these boxes aren't going to be moved in the next 12 hours? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, they do. I mean, they're, they're fairly large containers and they're broken. So no one's going to move them to use them. And you think if they were going to be moved, they Get would already have become. been moved. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Yep. I think we benefit from more that way. Being an ace in the hole, so to speak. I was thinking of hiding any weapons in like the toilets or something, but... Uh, I'll be counting on the uh, rest of you to bring my uh, equipment with you when you bring your uh, boxes and tools. We'll see. Very well. Do you want to get yourself settled <coughs> and I'll make sure you can't be seen? Yes, that sounds a good idea. I'll uh, clamber into one of the boxes. Put Christ down. Subtly. <laughs> okay. Uh, could you make a stealth oh God, roll, this. please? Stealth. Can I stealth. assist with... Something? Yeah, you can kind of point out where to go. He'll already yeah. get a plus one advantage because you've already pinpointed some places to hide. So if you assist him, he'll have two. Yeah. Mm. So stealth one, agility two, so that's. Uh, just, stand yeah. <coughs> just stand to one side and say, no, I can still see the light from your murderous eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tone down the bulbs a bit more. Thank you very much. I can still see the light from your murderous eyes. New favourite mm. quote. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> right. You basically just stand in a slight shadow of a container and power down. I jumped up. I wish to remind someone. I'm pretty confident that I could that I'll be able to do this. <laughs> the, yes, the, it. the bottom is not convinced. <laughs> Eh, yeah, he'll be fine. <laughs> I'll leave. Okay. <laughs> you uh, you head out. Where is everyone else at this point, by the way? Were we hanging we on? Back to the ship. Oh, we headed back to the ship. Right? Yeah. Okay, one thing I was going to say before we headed back, did we, we didn't want to walk back in the clothes, did we? We want to walk back in our own no. clothes and take the clothes with us. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Okay. I'm going to probably spend a few hours scouring the ship for any cargo that we have on it that I wouldn't want to lose, then fretting about how I'm going to lose it anyway, <laughs> and then resigning myself to sleep. I assume I'm going to be witness to all of this excitement. <laughs> I'm sitting in the the um, the like cockpit, pretending I'm flying a really big ship, trying to imagine what it's like to be flying a freighter. Precisely. Or why are you playing with dinosaurs? Complete with <laughs> <laughs> yes. Complete with noise and mist spray. <laughs> To keep you uh, hydrated. If I practice enough, can I have a ro an extra roll when I fly it? Looks like a fish. Moves like a fish. <laughs> Steers like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> mm. um, if I'm, I'm back on the ship, I'll probably be looking to get rid of anything that we would leave on the ship that would tie us to the rebellion. Or okay. that would tie the ship to the rebellion. Yeah. But... After that, just go to sleep. Can I wipe the computer with anything to do with like our travel trajectory? Yeah, you can wipe it of astrogation yeah. details and stuff like that, yeah. Absolutely. You wipe back. Um, in fact, I can roll for it. Exciting. Computers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what's ridiculous. Three, 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 two, yellow. You killed before you make the shit Yes. Wow. Fire hydrant system explodes and kills both of us. Well, me. Don't forget, incidentally, guys, that we still you still have four light side points that can be used. Yeah. If only we could use that to allow us to think of things properly. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? Mm. I think it's safe to say you've succeeded. Yeah. Uh, five, six, six successes. Uh, yeah, you wipe you you wipe it good. You wipe it clear. <laughs> You basically wipe the astrogation details back to when it first launched. <laughs> Excellent. Did you put a little trap in there to make the Empire think that it was doing something else? No, I didn't get any advantages. No. Okay, so... When are we setting our alarms? I was going to say, isn't it kind of what? important for you to get back? Oh yeah, yeah, you, yes. Susan arrives back uh, to find uh, the Moncal making flying noises in the cockpit. 
I um, to it. I'm just vibrating on the controller. The, uh, <laughs> the Celestin and the human are both asleep, and uh, the droid is beeping quietly in, a, in, in the, the hold. Yes. Plugged into the wall. Actually, you'd probably be in the cockpit as well. Application details, I guess. Yeah. Plug yeah. It, plug into the wall. Yeah, it's making beeping noises while the Moncal is kind of <laughs> tilting the steering <laughs> side to side going... Can, can I surreptitiously... Datapad has a scanner in it, doesn't it? Guy, so it can, does. I, can I surreptitiously scan him to make sure he's okay? <laughs> yeah. And then leave him? Sure. Cool. Yeah, the, the droid's fine. He seems to be liaising with the, the astrogation. I, I meant him. You. Oh, him? <laughs> <laughs> really? I'm worried about him. Really? <laughs> Oh yeah, he's I just really don't want our pilot. Leave me alone! I don't want our pilot to have a psychotic <laughs> the data, break. Just the data call. pad says that the he's fine. He's just an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it literally comes up with those words. Mostly harmless. Mm. Uh, okay. Do you want to um? Yeah. What? Nothing. What? Nothing. I, I, okay. <laughs> how long before it arrives in from when we go to bed? Uh, it depends when you get up. Oh, from when you oh. go to bed. Yeah. Oh god, well we said it was 12 hours, so let's say it's 8 hours away. Alright, I get 7 hours sleep, then I wake up. Push me to the limit. I, well, before um, everyone goes to sleep, I'm going to um, pass along the information. One of the um, door guards to the bay knows that we accessed the blueprints. Oh. Which means presumably the people on the ship will soon know that we access, well, someone access the blueprints. Yeah, he doesn't know we did directly. You mean? No, oh. he knows someone did. Hmm. Accessing generic freighter blueprints doesn't seem that suspicious, does it? But do they know? Um, do they also know that we access the sensor information? Because that would specifically point to. They this know we accessed the blueprints for the exact same freighter that is coming in to dock in about ten hours or so. Hmm. Yeah, are you there now? Live in the cockpit. Are you so yes, do you hear this? Cool. Are you telling everyone this, not just? Yeah. You're asleep. Okay. I'm in the cockpit still, and you've gone. I yeah. guess you've gone to Is there any way that you can? Well, there's not really anything we can do now, is there? Is there any way you can, can know you with? Plug them? your tentacles into the people who've discovered it. <laughs> wipe that information or from them. Into a portal. I think the that's more the murder I, I think that's, that is more. Uh, more <laughs> Basically, <Basic> the tentacles. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to ask, is there any way they can trace us back to the ship to find out where we access the information from? Or back to you. Or back to you. <laughs> um, it's possible, but it would be very difficult. It is possible, but unlikely. So, at worst, they're probably just going to have more security around the ship. Maybe. They shouldn't be able to know it's us or anything. Yes. Okay, that's a bit annoying, but nothing works. Where is the other droid? He is hiding in a box. <laughs> oh yeah, helpful. with <laughs> um, by hiding in a box, you mean in the hangar? Yes. Okay. So well hidden. He's hiding in a box. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, <laughs> more next to a box. <laughs> don't, don't you think anyone's going to question why there's a murder droid in the hangar? He's no, not. He's not an engineering he droid. Doesn't look like a murder droid. That does, that doesn't much. he? <laughs> no one's po powers he, down his eyeballs. He kind of does. <laughs> I figured he was possibly, like, he could get himself out of it somehow. Okay. <laughs> and if he well, fi fingers crossed, I guess. If he couldn't, he can at least take out some security <laughs> before it's an issue. I kind so, of feel that if they find a murder fine. droid in the hangar, they're going to put more security in the hangar <laughs> after they deal with the murder droid. A powered mm. down murder droid. <laughs> You're just going to wake up and find yourself somewhere else three weeks later. <laughs> this unit is optimistic about all eventualities. <laughs> well, good for you, I, I heard not. that. <laughs> okay, then. I guess with that, I'm going to go to bed as well. Yep. Okay, so you're waking up about an hour before it arrives, seeing as Justin yeah. is, is doing that? That's what I, I, yes. I, I would plan on doing. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you all wake up. I take it you're going to... Get on the the dock work uniforms. Well, I take half an hour shower. Possibly <laughs> not walk there in the uniforms. Hmm? Not we won't walk there in the uniforms. There are people walking the entire station in the dock work uniforms. So. But coming out of our ship in uniforms, if we've drawn any attention Wait. to ourselves and we are under surveillance, it would yeah. be best to. I'd say we go get changed else. nearby in the toilets or something where we would be spotted. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay, so just leave your ship with the the two toolboxes carrying all your weapons and. Yep. Three tool very boxes poorly hidden have. weapons. Oh yeah. Three two boxes. Oh. Yep. Oh god, we're such screwed. Okay. 
so you you uh, you head out, and uh, you head uh, up to, to nearby to the uh, to the hangar bay. And I take it you um, you get you find somewhere to, inobtrusive to get changed. Mm-hmm. Yep, and I will check the bugs as well, as always. Okay. Do you want to roll for it or? Where are you checking for bugs? Uh, if we're getting changed in the toilet, I'll check. The toilets. <laughs> you, you find some some star toilets, <laughs> and you you get changed there. Um, I'm not going to the toilet. <coughs> no, that would look weird. <laughs> that <looks> very weird. <laughs> <laughs> this droid needs to drain coolant. Four four men, the droid, or four different species of droid, all come out of one cubicle. <laughs> I want to make it very clear to Five XK that if if the situation arises, I fully int- I fully anticipate him killing people if needs be. This restraining bolt shouldn't stop you doing that. But it does, doesn't it? No, just kidding me. No, it was him. <laughs> Mainly. No, um, dead. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what, yeah. Susan, make a skullduggery roll for like bugs and surveillance and stuff. But also in general for not drawing attention to the group. Mm. Uh, two greens, one yellow, please. And you can have... Can I have a boost for not having the murder toy with us? No, <laughs> you can have a boost from kind of just everyone else in general. Okay. Like well, also I'm keeping an eye out. I'm being subtle. But the, but the two, more, your subtle beat going. Are they not? Well, so because of their races. I mean, it's not like they're instantly, no, constantly really. going to hate me. The station isn't like all human. Oh, okay. It's the not- first person you met wasn't human. Yeah. None of the people you've met have been human. <laughs> Three successes and yeah. nothing. Yeah, that's Three it. Three successes. One thing you've cancelled out. Yes, that's absolutely fine. You you all slip into a star toilet without any um, without any <laughs> problems. Toilet. So dodgy. Take separate cubicles, <laughs> get changed into your dock worker uniforms, pop the uh, the droid ident into five uh, XK, and uh, head on out. Is is the work uniform just like a jumpsuit? Yeah, yeah. Like, so we can wear it over our normal clothes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to say I would suggest us walking into the bathroom and out of the bathroom separately. But right. this is what this role did, though. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's yeah. all fine. Okay. You am just I succeeded. Am I being fine. over paranoid? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ten Imperial stormtroopers stand outside the toilet door. I, I, I imagine our blasters are under it's our dock. Cute, just stormtroopers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah any, any, any small blasters. Yeah, it can be yeah. hidden. That's fine. What we, when your guns in the tool gets? That's fine. Does anyone else have a blast? I don't have them. I don't remember. I think he was the he was the only one with a weapon. No, everyone. No, no, everyone no. else has yeah. blasters. Oh, right. Yeah, it's just you. Yeah. It's, it's just you. you. Oh, you have a blaster, don't you? Yeah. Oh, you don't have a blaster. You just have melee weapons. Yeah. Mm. You can entangle just people in your tentacles. <laughs> like Ron one. Yes. <laughs> I'm the strongest thick spaghetti. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, just after you come out of the uh, the star toilet, there is um, a a klaxon starts sounding, not in a kind of alarm kind of way, just kind of an alert, um, and a voice comes over the tannoy saying, "This is Governor Pruel, uh, the uh, Polemian convoy is arriving. Everyone to stations. Everyone to stations." It goes without saying, if you have nothing to do with this convoy, stay out of the way. Then don't tend to be forgiving when it comes to this. <laughs> that that wasn't me hiccuping, by the way, listen. That was the governor hiccuping. <laughs> the governor's drunk. <laughs> we gathered. Yeah. Um, Subtext. <laughs> the you, are you, uh, I take it you're rushing towards um, towards the docking bay where the freighter is going to dock? Not rushing, but yes. Okay. Yes. I was really expecting Brisk. that Hanoi to be murder, dro- murder droid has been discovered. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay. Uh, do we, we, when we arrive at the hangar? Hold on. Okay. I'm not done yet. Uh, as you walk along kind of a, a corridor towards the docking bay, you actually go past a, a large viewport uh, showing... Uh, out into space uh, where you can see several large um, frigates and freighters dropping out of hyperspace um, as they do so including um, I'll tell you what who, well we'll roll for the person who's most likely 
So is there kind of some kind of knowledge about spaceships? Or? Knowledge warfare. Yeah, I've got knowledge warfare. I've got warfare. But that's the only thing about space. Or knowledge or education might do it. Yeah. Knowledge. So who's got the highest knowledge warfare? I've got one. One. I've got one too. Uh, well, we'll make the roll for the Mon Cal because the Mon Cal is this pilot and their ships. Mm -hmm. um, so, if you could, uh, yeah, make make that roll. Really, okay. what do you need? That's two greens and a yellow. Two greens and a yellow, and we'll have it at that. And you have been briefed, so there's your pool. Thank you. Oh God. <laughs> and that was very well caught. Thank you. <laughs> First roll I've done today. Okay. Uh, three successes. That's, That's it. it. Three successes. Three successes. Okay. Um, what has just dropped out of hype space is uh, about a dozen Temple class heavy freighters, um, all of which are full carrying cargo modules. Like all of them are full. Um, alongside are two star galleons. That's like smaller star destroyers. Mm. Uh, as you watch, as they drop out of hyperspace. Um, quite a lot of TIE fighters are launched from the Star Galleons to provide basically coverage, like a net coverage around them as they dock. Mm -hmm. Quite a lot. Mm. A okay. couple of squadrons. Are all the freighters marked? They're all unmarked. They're all unmarked. Yeah. Ah. None of the ships are marked. I share this with everyone. Hmm. So. Yeah. This is going to be fun to try and get away from. We have vastly underprepared. Yes, we're the re we're the rebellion. It's always happens. I don't say that out loud. We're the rebellion. Being a rebellion agent is so hard. <laughs> it's like passing through the doors, goes. Oh, so fun that we don't work here. Yet we're allowed to just walk right in. <laughs> okay, you arrive at the. Um, the kind of doors to the uh, to the docking bay. Uh, the the Imperial security is still there, and they're just kind of looking over people as as they come through. And um, they kind of glance over your your kind of uniforms and look down at their papers and go, oh, "Terrible paperwork's always terrible here." Got no idea. They scan five uh, XKs, five X, five XK, five XKs, ident. Mm -hmm and seem to be satisfied with that and kind of th they're taking quite a while looking down their paperwork at, uh, and then looking up at, at, at the four of you I sort of uh, click my tongue at them and roll my eyes and go bureaucrats they're all about paperwork and they never get it right is there a persuasion thing negotiation yes. coercion Decep deception deception deception, is deception isn't it? two yellows and one green <coughs> please thank god you're good at deception mm. I'll step in. Any <laughs> Have you heard about our plans? <laughs> We've a rebel. So, know. what do you guys think of the rebellion? Ah. Anyway, two successes. Hurrah! Uh, yep, yeah, the kind of the imperial security guy looks up and says, "Oh, it's always terrible. It's always terrible. Just go on through. I'll sort it out later." And, and wait. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Cheers, <laughs> star mate. <laughs> star. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, is the ship docking currently? Um, basically, klaxons are sounding. Uh, the cargo bay doors are slowly opening, and a freighter is kind of looming in sight outside them, slowly pulling into the docking bay. Where's the kill bot? <coughs> um, I'll gesture. Very, very, very subtly at the boxes that he's hiding in. Okay. Yeah, about that. Yeah, is he still there? <laughs> uh, he's basically stood still powered down next to the boxes. There are a group of three dock workers around him, basically kind of looking closely at him and poking him a bit. I make my way over to them and say, What? What? Why is there a droid in the middle of the bay? I don't... Who put this here? Uh, one of them turns around and kind of looks you up and down and says dunno, just found him here like this probably wouldn't be poking him you think he's cargo? I don't know model like this uh, better safe than sorry, we'll load him on board 
<laughs> Wait, how... Load him on board? How do you even... You don't even know that he's cargo. How do you know which one to load him on? Why don't you take care of him then? Fine, I will! <laughs> he throws his hands up in the air and <laughs> stalks off the other two kind of... <clears throat> toddle off after him. <laughs> yeah. Shows all that are at this point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's good to see that uh, at least some of the crew are still alive. Uh, how's the plan going so far? Well, you've gotten in, and you haven't been loaded onto a mystery ship, so that's a good thing. How uh, disappointing. <laughs> Have you brought my uh, tools? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the, they're in the uh, toolkit. That would be where the tools would be, I suppose. Yes, yes it <laughs> <Excellent>. would. <laughs> I will... Uh, Rendezvous with the rest of the crew and the server at your disposal. Just toddle off. Okay. The um, <laughs> the freighter pulls in and has put down <coughs> the uh, cargo bay on the back of it, kind of opens up along uh, a big low hatch. So it's like a ramp up to the, the ship. And um, dock workers start um, moving crates of supplies <coughs> up into it, basically. Uh, there's some refueling going on is at the side as well. Is it just one freighter, or is it all? Of it's them? Just, no, look, it's just the one freighter in this docking bay. It's big. Um, are the, the dock workers going into the ship free then? Yes, they're carrying <coughs> supplies in. No one's interfering with them. No, they're carrying supplies in. Okay. That's what they're doing. That's and their job. Any supplies around that we could just? Yeah, there's big crates of supplies that have all been brought in. Should we just? Are we sure it's the right one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We yes. got the right docking bay, didn't we? You're so over paranoid. Let's get on the ship. If only there was some people you could ask. Yes. If only there were. Very true. <laughs> yeah, that's not a problem here, really. Start hmm? walking over to the cargo. Oh. <laughs> is anyone intently looking at us or paying attention to us right now? Can we have free conversation? Ish. Uh, as long as you're not overt, yeah. you are within hearing distance of dock workers and <laughs> Imperial Guards. Yeah. Well, let's grab some boxes, but yeah, let's grab some boxes. Cool. Yep. Because <coughs> um, we are a pet maintenance team and not a cargo shifting team. It's mm. a good point. Are it's there wrong. any marks on the boxes that are being lifted into the ship? Um, they're just kind of labelled general supplies. It the, mostly seems to be food. Is there a computer terminal anywhere nearby? Or is it just, presumably it's, there's nisms, it's just a big. Are you talking on the ship or in the docking bay? Well, visible, basically. Um, yeah, there are computers, a couple of computers in the docking bay. Uh, you can't really see in the ship unless you go in the yeah. ship. Um, can I float over to one and see if it, the computer knows which of the ships that is going in this dock? Uh, that kind of information seems to be locked down. Yeah. We even with the codes that I have. Yeah, because that was the command center code. Yeah. It's not for so. Yeah, so so someone could just go over to one of the them. dock yeah. workers or one of the guards and ask them. So I'm someone who isn't a droid. <laughs> go over to one of the dock waters that looks busy and sort of tap them on the shoulder and whisper, "Which freighter is this?" What do you mean? I I mean, are we sh are we sure we're loading the right stuff onto the right ship? Which ship do you think it is? I I I don't. Two two twenty six. Yeah. 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 Get okay. back to work. Good. Thank you. <laughs> he so shakes his head as you walk away and goes, Rookies. <laughs> Jesus I give you a nod I'm and like, pick up a box and yeah. carry it on. Well, I do like the confidence being shown in your games, Master. You think I'd let you just get on the entirely the wrong ship and then just go, <laughs> yes. and then just go story over, losers. <laughs> it's like, it's like, we just like, get to the rendezvous like, and it's like, like this is the I've wrong told you this ship. is the docking bay, and now you're like, uh, and now I'm just like, don't trust everything you hear. <laughs> yeah. Get out of my house. Your successful retail roles mean nothing to me. <laughs> anyway, um. Yeah, there isn't, okay, there isn't much chance of 5XK being shifting things successfully. Why don't he just take... Why don't... Um, uh, what's your... Shall we do your name? Torn, right? Taru. Taru. Why don't Taru and 5XK go on board with an assassination crew? Because that's the only way that 5XK can be well, disguised. There's, there's three yeah, tools. Right. probably going to need more than just... Okay. Well, he can carry one. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> carry two. So, be up to, yeah, you could, you could carry, anyone could carry yeah. two tools. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. 
Um, Maybe not you, it might drag you down with your wombrot. Just drag it along. Um, yeah. <laughs> Take out the two. <laughs> Sparks. Nice and, and subtle onto the ship. So suddenly a racket erupts in the docking bay as this droid drives the toolbox. <laughs> yeah, exactly. like, Everyone yeah. stops yeah. and watches the droid. Why, why, why is that maintenance of droid moving boxes? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be inside him. Um, yeah, so we, we all go on board. We follow you on with, yeah. Okay, so you guys are going on just moving supplies in general, carrying them on, yeah. and you two are going on with toolboxes and maintenance crew? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, those of you with supplies are kind of waved through by um, the, the ship security. They d- appear distinctly better armed and better trained than the Imperial troopers you've seen on Martel Station. Mm. They seem to give a shit. Are these they're stor- kind of looking... At, no, they're not stormtroopers. Okay. Um, they're kind of Imperial ship... Uh, troopers so yep. some of them have the big domed helmet things and some of them just have caps and um, they're definitely looking at everyone quite carefully as they go past um, they kind of wrinkle their faces wrinkle with with surprise and suspicion when they see a uh, uh, a mon cal and a boffin I, i'm just lifting the box but up. they they still wave wave you past they're just kind of mm, not they're not particularly sure. watching me heavily are they just, mm, no no they just don't appear happy that you're not human yeah Space racists. Yeah. Um, and as for the maintenance crew, um, an Imperial officer steps in front of you as you kind of move up the ramp, holds his hand out and says, Who are you? Maintenance. Maintenance? I haven't received any notifications. Pretty sure this is the right place. We've got this part to fit. And I point to the thing we dragged out of the... Yeah, out, out of the out of the shuttle, which I'll sort of um, wave futilely. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help but imagine Neil, your character just being incredibly creepy all the time. Yeah, it's exactly that. <laughs> Waving your tentacles around like some obscene being, like a kind of cyber Lovecraft. Exactly. Thing. Um, okay. Um, do you want to give me a deception roll? Please. Oh God, please don't mess no. I have no skill in no, any like. Bear in mind, we have force points. Yeah, we may have to use a force point. Okay, but what's your um? Uh, I just have two cunning. I have two cunning and one deception. Then he should probably. Well, if you're assisting, I don't think you can try and deceive. You can't. Yeah. You just choose which. Yeah. Yeah, you just choose which. So um, we'll go to those, and then I'll give you an advantage die for having the gumption to wave a thing in the air like it's a. Thing. You um, idiot, we're putting this. <laughs> floating so it's going to be three, uh, but do you want to use light side points? Can we decide after we roll or not? No, because no, it upgrades. I think okay. we upgrade the green to the yellow. Um, yeah, I think we have to. <laughs> upgrade any ability, difficulty, dice. But yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. you can use it narratively as luck as well. So you could try and upgrade with one, and if it still doesn't work, you can try and spend another one afterwards. Like to, something exploded inside. It's good luck. There's yeah. a maintenance crew here. So, but are you spending one? <laughs> yeah, that's my one guy one. has a heart oh. attack. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's not lucky. That's not too bad. It's lucky for us. Yeah, that's, right. Right. Yeah. that's not a terrible pool, so. Oh, yeah. That's okay. a terrible roll, though. Oh, 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 God. An abysmal roll. Uh, oh. just a fail. There's just three fails. Well, their fails don't stack, so it's just a yeah. normal fail. It's yeah. just a fail. Oh, you had a bottom line with you. He, um, he, he kind of shakes his head and says, "Part or not, I, I haven't heard hide nor hair of this. I'll have to, I'll have to radio this in." Anyone thinking of using a light side point? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Ooh, five lovely dark side points there. Okay. okay. Um, oh God. As as he does so, he um, someone shouts over uh, a, a rank warrant officer. Warrant officer, we we need we just need you to look at these supplies that we're. I don't think we've got enough supplies here. Uh, the warrant officer kind of turns around and half stalks off and then turns around and just turns back and says, "Look, don't stay off the ship until I come back, okay." Was anyone with him when he said that? Was it just no. I walk out I, to the I ship. Will, I, will float, <laughs> I will float stealthily into the ship. Okay. Beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> you like boxy robot from Future Armor. <laughs> um, that can float stealth as well. Yes. So everyone's now kind of... Uh, in a, you're not all together, I'm assuming, or kind of enough to see each other. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
Okay, you're on there. It's it's fairly busy there. There's lots of people stacking crates and kind of loading onto the ship. There's uh, there's some guards milling around. What are you going to do? I'm actually going to make another trip for another box of supplies. Just so the guards definitely think that I'm not just... <laughs> oh my god. I'm stacking boxes in the back. That's fine. Okay. That's that's fine. Yeah. You know, it's obviously here for a while. So. Yeah. yeah. Looking over everyone else waiting for someone to make a move. Well, I'm nodding to find XK as if to say, find XK? Why don't you go find a data terminal? Hack into <laughs> so it. Such so. <laughs> if um, only you had some kind of comlink. Yeah, I, I did think about texting the comlink, <laughs> but I, we've already discussed this as our plan, haven't we? No. Have you? Have yeah, we? I thought, I thought the plan was get on the ship and see what happens. Yeah, yeah. That's that's right. Right. Well, yeah. great plan. <laughs> Seeing as no one else knows this plan, well, I'm not perhaps sure. Justin could tell us what it is. Is there, is there, an, is there an, an interface point that is subtle enough for our five HK to be plugging into it without well, attracting attention to himself? Well, he's designed to plug into things. It's not like everyone's yeah, going like, right. But like, if he's a maintenance bot and then he decides to plug into a panel right next to Imperial Storm well, Imperial Guard. Well, the question mark is that there is at least one Imperial officer here who thinks he should not be on the ship. So, you know, some elements of stealth will have to be yeah. considered. Yes. So I will stealth away, away, away from the entrance. Because okay. So that I'm you, you find a computer in, in inputs... Away from the entrance, but give me a um, give me a stealth roll. First. One green, one yellow, please. You have one stealth. It's quite stealth. nice. It's so, quite but I have busy. One yeah, we'll we'll give you an advantage dice to have. Oh. Ooh, uh, a fail, but a triumph. Actually, no. So it's not a fail. It's just a triumph. No, that is a fail with a triumph. That's not because there's a success and the triumph is a success. Yep, so that's two with two fail. With two. Oh, yeah, but you know what I mean. Yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah. It's a triumph. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, basically, you don't sneak over there successfully enough to not be noticed, but at the limit of your sensor ranges, you hear uh, a warrant officer um, being told to report to the bridge to account for a lack of supplies. Oh, yeah. The warrant officer you talked to earlier Shocking. heads off towards uh, that kind of the long access tunnel mm. all the way down the ship and clambers aboard a kind of little um, like a hover skiff awesome and um, like a hover segway yeah like a hover segway <laughs> zips up They're bigger than that it can sort of have a couple of people oh, still okay. in there. hover chariot and um, there is a name for them in the book star chariot I'm not going to look uh, can yeah, we just call them hover segways no <laughs> star segways as your game Spaceways. master star, star lifter segways. segway wars no, that's the manufacturer's Segwalk. name. No. <sighs> cargo Ten. skiffs. Cargo skiffs, that makes sense. An Aratech ship hand cargo skiff. Did you just look up the real name to stop us from wasting time yes. trying to find <laughs> <laughs> it? Okay. Cool. Right, so, so I'm going to plug into this data terminal. Um, okay. And now we need a computer roll. Yes. What um, exactly are you trying to determine? The, that is what I was going to do before I did the computer roll. Um, because I have no idea what I'm looking for. The out of the ship, I thought. Uh, I will, shall I have gone over with you? Well, I'm, I'm with him at the moment. Yeah, I've definitely yeah. gone over with you. I would you suggest that you're options? looking for the layout of the ship, if you ask me. What with any modifications and yeah, so on. Then so I'll look at that. Okay, what do you need? Uh, three green, two yellow. So many. <clears throat> That's pretty basic information. And I'll give you an advantage die because you've already looked at the blueprints. What if we fail? Yeah, there's, there's just so many advantage wow. and threat okay. symbols and hardly any success and fail Two advantages and one success, and that's after the halving. Right, okay. Um, when you find them, you find like a basic layout of the ship, um, which is, you know, all good. Um, as you do, you don't find any kind of really valuable direct information about the entire layout of the ship. But what you do find is a maintenance notice linked to the layout of the ship that says that there is a ventilation shaft access port here in this very cargo bay uh, that is faulty and wide open. And it hasn't been repaired yet. There is a faulty, unrepaired ventilation shaft in this cargo bay leading towards the ship. 
that sounds extremely useful to us. Um, where is it? I will gesture gently with a tentacle. <laughs> well, actually, no, I won't do that. I'll just say in what corner of the bed yeah. it is. It's basically a bit deeper into the cargo bay, just along one of the walls. Okay. Well, if our plan... <laughs> Can I check if a, if a maintenance crew has been called for it yet? They have not. I would kind of walk over at this point, having fifteen put down my boxes, and go, did you find the cargo list? I doubt that'd be accessible for me just on the normal food with it. Well, yeah, it'd be oh, harder, but yeah. But it's, it's time just, consuming, yeah. that's the thing. People are already kind of yeah. starting. You think it's not here for that long. Yeah. Uh, people probably. are kind of like, there is more on the ship than in the, the docking is, bay right now. Is the bottom back on now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Should we make tracks? Is there an easy way to get to, you know, just get ourselves aboard? Yeah, we've, uh, well, 5XK found out there's an, basically an open ventilation shaft we could use. Good. Auto box, okay. I will start hovering in the direction of the ventilation One, shaft. one at a time. One at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't walk off this own. <laughs> Don't walk off with this. Okay. Uh, so I take it you're all kind of slowly meandering towards Lifting that area boxes in general. Lifting boxes and pruning down closer and closer. <laughs> <to the bench. laughs> I think I'm I'm going to stay out of the air vent uh, with my back to it to see if anyone is looking around and noticing them. So I'm basically keeping watch. Were you well, the first one to go over there? Hmm? No. No, no fire, it's Kate Watts, wasn't he? So were you the second one to go over there? I was going to... Be me. So maybe instead of having your back probably towards it, maybe you just stand looking at the data pad. I'd, I'd probably be third, but I wouldn't be right next to it. Like, I'd be a distance in and on the other side of the room. Regardless, that makes I'm about to do a thing now. Whatsoever, which it probably doesn't. Dark side point. Justin. Yeah, go for it, yeah. Uh, as you are wandering over, yeah. a, a group of Imperial officers from the ship are kind of moving through the crates checking everything, just making everything sure everything's in order mm -hmm. making sure all the dock workers are putting things in the right place mm -hmm. they're very close to you and you've got to sneak past them to okay. get to where you want to go oh, I have nothing in stealth I have two in agility That's, Ill. That's a bad fail. A That's a advantage. bad fail. Uh, it is a failure with an advantage. Um, yeah, they basically spot you and kind of round on you and kind of march yep. up to where you are. Uh, the advantage is that um, Susan is directly behind you and you see it happening. Okay. So yep. you can interject in some way if you want. Well, uh, they say that's... Uh, what, are you, what are you placing around here? There's a repair order on that vent, isn't there? Not as far as we're aware. One of them, one of them, kind of says it does. I mean, it is broken. Yeah. I mean, well, we just, I mean, you know, we just do what we're told. But we've, you know, since we're here, since we've got the skills to do that. So that's, told to, is that droid with you? Yeah, he's a repair droid. <laughs> Roll um, deception or deception. I say deception or negotiate. My well, deception is. Um, um, I know that. No, I trade that for a yellow. And you want to add a deal dice to that? Take it away. Uh, you've made a fairly good argument. Now we'll, we'll go with that. Yep. Success with a threat. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, with no threat because it comes yeah. down. Just success. Um, one of the, the the one who pointed out says it it has been that way for for ages, sir. I mean, even if even if the order is wrong, we should let them do it. Yeah. And the the other. Officer kind of shrugs and says, "Go ahead, but be quick about it." We'll do. And then they will walk off. Cheers. Okay, you are all at the vent. I'm assuming you're just all going to get into the vent. <laughs> is, it, yep. is it like I'm not going in first? What is it like? How far is it off the floor? It, it's it's flush with the floor. Oh, okay. And it's about um, 
maybe four feet high. Cool. But it looks like the tunnel beyond it then kind of expands out almost to full height. You'll kind of have to go through it kind of slightly crouching, apart from the Mon Cal and the Celestin <laughs> and the um, floaty, creepy droid. <laughs> um, <laughs> piling boxes around it to make it to the net. So I do. I then you could just no, wait, I need, talk, well, just Are there crates out. nearby the vent? Yes, there are. Oh, okay, maybe pull, I'll pull a few crates. I'm carrying some crates around. Just pull them no, yeah, a little no, bit that's, obscured that's from valid. view. I've yeah. got toolboxes. Go. We're gonna have to actually probably fix this thing. <laughs> not bring attention to ourselves. So I need you to go in out last. Can you repair it from the inside? Yes. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so you all kind of head in, and I take it you're going to try and repair. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to keep watch to make sure no one notices us sneaking. Okay. Can I assist by handing him tools? Yes. Does anyone else have repair? No. I'm treating you as the whiz kid. You can, you can assist. You can still assist there. What's your repair, Sam? I, it's, I have just have mechanics. Oh, yeah, mechanics. mechanics. Sorry, yeah, mechanics. Yeah, I have two, two mechanics and two intellect, I think it is. Okay. So and you don't have mechanics. No. That's it. Uh, so that's two yellows. And uh, it's not a difficult oh, thing to repair, and we'll have an advantage die from having a droid handing you tools. <laughs> <laughs> like scalpel. Scalpel. Mm. That is a nothing. Yeah. So that's a big fat nothing. Oh, uh, no, you, you, it's, it's pretty damn broken, to be honest. It probably just needs to be replaced entirely. Okay. But you can close it too, so yeah. no one yeah. could notice you've gone in. <laughs> well, we can we can just close it. Uh, I'm not going to be able to repair this. Do you have any, any tape, tape in your toolkit that says just like broken? Uh, yes. Well, yeah, and out of order. Just, we just, just, out like, just like to put tape across it going like, don't touch, dangerous, broken. Yeah. Yeah. Dangerous vent. Do, do you have <laughs> all, all <laughs> very specific tape you've may, got? It. May contain Gordon Freeman with, <laughs> rent, with crowbar. <laughs> Um, okay, you all kind of clamber inside the ventilation system mm -hmm. and shuffle off into the heart of the ship to make your way eventually to the bridge, one would assume. And that's the end of the session! Yay! 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 Yay. Yay. Brave rebels. We're <laughs> so screwed. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> no, 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 yeah. I was like, oh, we totally need to, like. I can't believe we're not dead yet. Yeah, we're not. Do we have a combat yet? Just, How no, did we no, get it? I can't believe you got away with leaving the droid in the cargo bay with basically no one to hide. I'm just going to kick the vent open. <laughs> just a good old gun explosion. <laughs> I can imagine you just basically kicking the vent open, turning around and just going boom, 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 and then running into the vent. For the rebellion. <laughs> and then uh, Sam's going, have we told you about our plans? <laughs> and by the way, we're not. <laughs> If you guys don't know what the rebellion just, is, but you just blow. Yeah, you just let off a few shots and run in, and they hear this distant tinny voice from inside the vents going, "We're rebels!" We're <laughs> <laughs> just uh, knocking on people's doors, going, "Have you heard that?" Have you considered the rebellion? Spare a few minutes to talk to you about the Rebel Alliance. Gil's got some propaganda pamphlets that he just hands yeah. out to every stormtrooper we meet. But he charges <laughs> ten credits per pamphlet. Yeah. Have you yeah. thought yeah. about? Effective. Giving up a life of pay and security for yeah. Mm. Say goodbye to the listeners. Bye, listeners. Bye. 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 All so happy.